Right out guys, welcome back to another vid. This one I'm just going to take the tinny out and show you a few little upgrades I've done, mate. Turn it from a roof topper into a bit more of a comfortable boat. So uh, we'll kick it off, head back to the shed. And I'll show you how I've decked it out, eh? Right, uh, it's time to show you what I'm going to do with this tinny. All right, <laughs> have a look at all this gear behind me. So I'm going to, the big idea is to give it a bit of a makeover, right? So turn it from a roof topper into a more of a creek basher slash barrel boat slash, I don't know, just a more comfortable fishing platform, right? So it's been great because it's on the roof all the time. Now I still want to be able to put it on the roof, so I'm not putting too much weight into it. Um, but quick rundown is all I'm going to do is put a front deck, um, some rear decks in it over the back seat slash transom, a couple of comfy seats and uh, a few little tricks and treats. So a couple of LED lights, uh, a swivel seat, a little um, a holder for the sounder and a little switch panel too so I can run things and just be a bit more comfortable in there. So I'm going to put the battery, strap it down, a, bit of, a few storage hatches in the decks that I put in uh, and a bigger esky. So anyway, we'll see how we go. I've never done this before but what I'll do, I'll show you the gear um, and I'll link everything in the description below so you can go there and see where I've got it from. Uh, most of this gear is from Anaconda. Uh, the rest of it I've just bought from Bunnings and whatnot, a bit of aluminium and plywood I had left over from the shed build. But anyway, all right, let's have a look at it. I'll take you through. So here we go. What I'm gonna do, I'll kick off with the welder, right? So I need a welder to be able to stitch in some extra framework to put the decks on. So what I've done, is I've got one of these. Now, this is a Unimig Viper. So, why have I gone with the Viper? It's because I want to use it for a heap of different things. So I want to be able to weld mild steel, I want to be able to make jobs in the shed, fix stuff on the caravan, but I also want to be able to do this with the tinny as well and weld up little aluminium brackets and little cool little things that I can sort of adapt and sort of design for the caravanning and boating stuff, you know, and for the channel as well. So the Unimig Viper is the biggest one I can use in the shed on a standard 10 amp plug. It does MIG, TIG, stick, and also I can adapt one of these, a spool gun. So it's got its own aluminium wire in the spool gun, so I can run really fine wire and it doesn't kink in the handle. And you just plug that into the machine as well. Uh, or I can drop the side here put a big roll of steel wire in there for the normal MIG and all I have to do is change the bottles over. So I've got the trolley, I've got the Viper, I've got the gas bottles and the reg, uh, straight Argon from aluminium and then I've got another bottle over there which is Argo Shield for the MIG. Now, <laughs> oh, I'll give you a quick look uh, just to give you a bit of background. I'm a diesel fitter by trade, done a lot of welding on bigger gear on, on, on steel in the past but I haven't touched a welder in about seven years and I've never welded an aluminium before. Now, I wanna show you this. <laughs> this is where we started. Now there's a lot of things that you need to get sorted for an aluminium welder like the, uh, the gas flow, the amperage, the wire speed, uh, the voltage, all right? And you also gotta make it really clean. So this is where we started off. Uh, it looks like the seagulls have been flying overhead, trying to burn holes in it and drop bird shit on it. Anyway, and then this is where we've ended up. So they get some gradually progressing and then there's a nice little fillet on the back here. So that's about where I'm at. This is, I'm only welding 1.2 mil to two mil stuff in to make the frames for the tinny, right? Anyway, we'll get there. But I've pretty much got it dialed in now. Don't blame the welder, it's all my fault. So anyway, handy little machine, look at that. Nice and small, tucks in on this little trolley and I can push it around the shed and store it or I can throw it in the trailer and go and do stuff on the van and whatnot. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, look at the, the gear for the tinny, uh, a new big esky, a pedestal seat. Uh, there's some aluminium from Bunnings. And I've got uh, some waterline switch panels, LED strip lighting, a couple of fuse holders, and I bought a Railblazer uh, sounder mount to hold my sounder. And then uh, I've got one of these shade covers off a bloke around the corner that was giving it away. So I've had to adapt that, cut it and silicon it on. And then I've got a couple of seats, a couple of fold down seats. Uh, I've cut a few timber decks out there to put in. There's a seat already installed on a swivel. Um, and then this stuff here is off eBay. So that is the EVA uh, foam decking. It's got an adhesive backing on it. It's the same as this stuff that I put in. 
and that's been in there for two years and um, it's been sweet. Like a couple of corners are lifting and whatnot, but the way I've treated it, I'm pretty happy with it. For about 65 bucks on eBay, it's the go away. Um, there you go. So, this is the tinny phase one. All I've done is bolt this seat in. It's got a floor in it. This has all come factory from Mako Craft. We've had it on the roof like this for two years. And now all I'm gonna do, sort of started piecing it together. It's a bit, um, I'm probably doing it all wrong, you know, cause I've never actually done this to a tinny, but it's gonna work in the end, don't worry about that. So I'm gonna put a deck in the front here with a storage hatch in it. Uh, and I'm also gonna put two decks across the back, um, across here, one there and one on the other side. That'll be storage as well. So the fuel tank will go underneath one. I mean, I'm not sure if I'll put the battery at the back yet or I'll put the battery up the front somewhere. But there we go. All right, let's quick run down on it. I'll, um, I'll give you a look when it's all finished, eh? Should be a good thing. Nice and comfy. Keen, eh? So keen. So with this timber, I'm gonna to have to seal it. I just got, honestly, I'm just using stuff I've got left over. I'm not gonna spend big money on this thing. I don't really care <laughs> if the timber rots or sogs out or something. Uh, this is just a trial run. And I've always got these templates. If it does fail, I can make it out of proper marine pie or Somali or something better, but I'll always have this template. So what I did, I used old cardboard boxes to make the shape and the templates of everything. So to get all the cutouts and all that sort of stuff. So I did all that, traced it out, uh, and then just cut it out with uh, a circular saw and a jigsaw. But what I've got is some leftover paint. I'm gonna seal it up, give it a couple of coats of this, and then uh, once that's dry, we'll put that EVO foam decking on top and then they can slot in. Should be good, I reckon, should be real good. Look at this, mate. Yeah. <laughs> ah, it's not that pretty under there, but I'll tell you what, it's doing the trick. That's gold. Lights, mate. I'm gonna put a couple of little LED strip lights in here, just so I can go fishing at night, try and live bait some jacks, barra, whatever, up the creeks, maybe some prawns and stuff like that. But I grabbed these, I fitted one on one side, but I'll show you how I do this side. Uh, can you get that out of the light? There you go. They're not DRA. It's only a waterproof, 12 volt, self-adhesive, multi-purpose strip light. There you go. Uh, all you do is pull it out of the packet, pull the backing paper off it, and stick it on. Now, I've um, 
I've cleaned up where I'm going to put it with a bit of light sandpaper and then some acetone so it should stick real well. Uh, the other one has, but I'll also put like a couple of dobs of clear silicon on it as well just to hold it in place. But um, like I told, showed you before, I've got the little switch panel. So these will run into that so I can have like some deck lights on a little switch panel. Just make it like real like easy to fish out of, you know. Not trying to have head torches and fluff around. It can just go out and everything's in the boat. Anyway, right up. So I'm just gonna run it under here like this. So I'm just gonna feed it through there and stick them on. Done. Righto, time to show you how I'm going to power this thing up with a few tricks and treats. So, I've had a battery for a while over here. I'll show you inside that. Inside that is a uh, inner drive. It's an E-Lite, 125 amp hour. <laughs> I better have a look at the battery and have a look. Um, anyway, it's a lithium battery. That goes in there in a little power pack. Um, and then I've got some power running this way. Power off the front on an Ando that goes up to the uh, electric motor. Anyway, what I'll show you, I've run the power across down here. It's all fused properly. I have pulled on me knowledge from back in the day as a sort of motor mechanic slash jack of all trades. Um, and anyway, I've made this little fuse box over here. This is where the fuse or the switch panel is going to mount. So it's a four gang switch panel with rocker switches. Uh, there's a common earth in there. And then I've got everything powered up. So what it's going to run is the lights. I've got a light on either side on the gunnel. So left and right, and it's got power to the sounder, and I've got a spare one in there. There's a hole and a grommet up underneath this where I can run power and bang in on this um, this last little switch here if I need it. Uh, for maybe like a little bait tank or something down the track, but I don't know yet. We'll see how we go. Or maybe um, like um, phone chargers or something like that. Anyways, um, this will go in here. Um, but I, I, just, <laughs> I thought I'd film it while I'm testing it um, just to see if it works, hopefully it doesn't throw sparks and burn the boat down. Anyway, we should be right. It's all fused up, all right? So here we go. We'll throw a fuse in over here. Can you see that? We got one. Now, best idea is to start with a small fuse. In case you've done something wrong, it'll blow the fuse before it starts cooking your wires, yeah? All right, here we go. Oh, nothing zapped or banged or crackled, so that's a good start. Oh, yeah, yeah hang on. We've got lights over here. So that's a good thing. All right, so should be um, power here somewhere. Hey, there's one light. What's this one? This one should be this one over here. Click, yes. And then this third one here, that's the um, sounder power. So let's hope if I press and hold that. Oh, yes. Right on. Boot up, yeah. All right. Happy days. <laughs> oh, there's a win, hey? Ah, a couple of tricks and treats in the tinny, mate. I've got lights when I'm out fishing. I've got power for the Alecki motor. I've got a switch panel. I've got power for the sounder. Um, we're good to go, mate. I think we're pretty good to go. Actually, this top of this thing's got USBs in it to charge phones. So there you go. You can run that. All right. What's next? I'm gonna make some storage hatches in these decks, eh? Right, so I'm gonna put this foam on the decks. This stuff was literally 60 something dollars off eBay. You get a couple of meter roll of it. And it's three mil thick self adhesive on the back of it. Uh, and it's foam. Now I've had it in the tinny for a couple of years, just on the seats and the front um, nose cone. And it hasn't come off, eh? It's like might've lifted in a corner here or there, but it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna do the same stuff. I don't know how well it's gonna stick to my painted decks. Um, they're clean, they're smooth, and they're painted, but uh, it's not gonna be as good as fresh alley, like I put the last set on the aluminium seats of the tinny as soon as I got it. So uh, anyway, I've wiped it all down, it's all clean. So we're just gonna stick all this foam on the decks and I'm gonna weight it down, like flip it over, let it sit overnight with some weights on it just to hold all the foam on it. Uh, and hopefully, <laughs> it don't come off. Anyway, if it does, it's only 60 bucks.
I'm doing something new today for me. Well, it's not new. I have spooled reels up before. Uh, what's new is that it's a bait caster. So I've got a new bait caster combo. It's a Shimano SLX, uh, like a medium 15 to 30 pound uh, combo. I want to do uh, some barra fishing, inland barra fishing. So troll some big swim baits. I want to catch jacks and I want to troll for flatties when I'm out with the kids. So a bit of an all rounder. So I'm putting 30 pound on it because I want a bit of stopping power for barra and jacks. But what I want to show you is that I'm trying a new way of spooling up a reel. Uh, I asked a bit of a question the other day on social media. I posted a photo. I said, hey, tell me there's a better way. Uh, and the photo was me with the screwdriver between my feet and a spool. Uh, and I've, that's all I've ever done. And I'm, I was doing it the other day thinking, surely there's a better way. So I asked. Now there's lots of little tools you can buy and all this sort of stuff. But the biggest tip people give me was to um, chuck it in a bucket of water. So here you go, this is what I'm about to do. There's the line in a bucket of water, it seems to float. Um, and I've thread it through the thing over here, uh, all my runners, and I'm just gonna hold it between my fingers and crank it on. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what you do. I'm hoping, because uh, otherwise I'll have to do it all again. We'll be right, we'll be right. All right, so can you see this? Can you see this? There's the bucket, there's me, here's me reel. We'll see what it does. Oh, yeah. well, that's pretty good, actually. Well, hang on, I'll show you. There you go. I'm going to call that a win. Check it. It's on nice and neat, nice and tight. About probably 120 meters of spider wire on there. Should be enough, eh? Hopefully next time you see this rod, she's spare buckled. All right, so the whole point of decking out the tinny was to make it a bit more comfortable, hey, when you're solo fishing. So have a bit more space to stand on rather than the ribs in the floor. Have a bit more storage, a bit of battery power, a bit of lighting. Um, just make things easy, you know? If things are easy, you'll do them more often. And, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to tell myself I'll catch more fish, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, I probably will, because I'll be out in it more often, because it's easy. Right, eh? I'll pull up here, and I'll show you around the finished product, mate. Righto, so let's do a run through, mate, of the finished product. I'll flip this camera around and walk you around everything I've done in here uh, to make it this fishable little weapon that it is now. I'm actually in love with it. It's a sick little tinny, eh? It was an awesome roof topper, but now that it's not gonna live on the roof of the cruiser too much, um, this is actually epic, man. So anyway, let's spin around and we'll go from the back to the front, eh? Uh, I'll just give you a quick tip. This is why <laughs> I've got an electric. Look at this, anchor mode, sitting here as the tide's ripping out in the flat water and I can walk you through the tinny. Sick, eh? All right, so starting at the back, um, nothing's changed with the motor and all that sort of stuff. What I have done, as you would have seen in the shed, mate, I've added in these decks here with the EVA foam decking, which is just self-adhesive. What I did end up doing, and I didn't show you, it started to lift on the corners, so I put some quick grip underneath it and put it back down just to hold it down. So under here, let's pull them out. I'll pull these two decks out, they're just removable. Under one side, you've just got storage. I can put water, safety gear, uh, oars and stuff like that, or fishing gear, bait, um, net. I was gonna put me burly and bait net in there. And then on this side, if I take this one out, there's your fuel tank. So this is my welding. Don't look too close. It's come up a treat. It's a little bit ugly, but I've just put a frame in here with some angle and some box. Uh, and then the decks sit on top. I was thinking about putting hatches in here, but I don't need it. And then uh, if I ever want to put it back on the roof of the cruiser, I can just take these decks out and they can sit in there like that. So I've tried to keep it super lightweight. So like using really small alley and it's still enough to um, hold my weight. So it goes good, it goes good. All right, I'll put these hatches back on and show you the rest. It's in here like this. Done, how easy is that? So you would have seen the swivel chair going in. That's been a game changer, mate. That's so much comfier and easier to get in and out of the boat. You jump on that, swivel around, and um, grab your tiller and away you go. It's bloody handy, eh? One thing I will tell you is that I didn't put extra um, 
oh, timber under here. I think you should probably mount this to a bit of plywood, big square of plywood, then mount the plywood to the seat because this is um, getting a bit of movement in it where it's flexing in the aluminium seat, right? So that's one a modification I'll have to upgrade in future, I'd say. But yeah, getting there. All right, um, battery box, there you go. The battery box goes in here. Just put a couple of stainless um, links there and a, a ratchet strap, so that bolts in there. Then I can pull it in and out, no dramas. You've got one Anderson plug here that runs up to the Alecki, not a drama. And then you've got another Anderson here that feeds across under the seat in conduit, and it comes out over here at me, um, at me little battery box or me little switch panel. So I've got a spare, I've got a depth sounder, I've got lights, I've got cabin lights. They've all got circuit breakers that are individually wired. Um, yeah, and then here's me little sounder. How good is it? So the depth sounder, it's the same one I always had, little Garmin one. But I bought this um, little, uh, it's called a railblazer mount. And what they do, they attach on here. Um, you can put them anywhere in your boat, run all sort of different fittings. And this one holds the sounder itself like this, right? That way you can pivot it, swivel it, do whatever you want. And then it's got this little uh, shade screen on it so you can see it during the day. Works a treat, mate. All right, moving forward. Haven't changed the position of the rod holders. So we've still got one on either side um, or two on this side of the esky. What I have done is put this bigger esky in so it just means you can put more fish and stuff in it and you can also take more ice, heaps of food for everyone uh, and it's a good seat for the kids as well. I've left that one removable. I used to have one that was bolted into the floor and it would bolt back to the seat here, all right? And then it used to stay on the roof when I put it on the tinny, but I don't have to. So I can just run that there and uh, pull it in and out as we go, which makes it easier when you've got fish and blood and guts and stuff in there. So happy with that. Anyway, I'm moving forward, mate. Um, this is the piece de resistance. Hey, this is the whole reason I started this little modification process was I wanted this little um, deck up here to not only stand on and fish, right? I'll show you, just so you know. It takes me weight, I'm not lying to you. Uh, but it's just good storage and I'll show you inside. Look at this, up we go. This is where I keep my safety gear, camera gear, um, donger, bit of stuff, you know, whatever you want to chuck in there, life jackets and that for the kids. Uh, and then I'll should put a bit of overlay in of the framework here. So that's just stitched in to the front and then um, just cut out this little hole in the middle of the deck. There you go, a couple of hinges. I do need to upgrade these to some stainless screws and better hinges, but I'll do that in the future. And then in here, look at that. The anchor well still holds all the anchor and the rope and stuff and the decking on the front. So this is like I told you, this decking's been on the boat for like two years or more. This is what it's looking like. So it's had a hard life, mate been around the country on the roof of the car so yeah and then there you go the water snake GPS on it so you got anchor mode and it's quick release so you can buy this quick release plate uh, that bolts onto your the mount on your tinny and then all you have to do is pull this pin out and the whole motor comes off simple as so when you do want to chuck it on the roof of your car you just pull the pin just chuck this in your canopy and away you go but yeah that is it <laughs> what do you reckon hey you as stoked with it as I am. I tell you, um, for like a couple of days in the shed mucking around, bit of fun. It's turned a, a rooftop out into a good little creek boat. So when you are finished your travels, you can come home and um, you might not have to upgrade to a bigger tinny. You can just sort of deck it out, put a few more mod cons in it, and then you can run up and down the creeks. I've even had it out the front on a good day too. Chase it out the front, see if you can get some Mackies and that. So, righto, that's it. That is the tinny. Hey, version two, Mark two of um, Tom the Tinny. I like it. Right, up. cheers, guys. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop it down below. Love your work. Cheers for your support. And um, well, like I said, hopefully it'll catch me some more fish. Eh? I really want to get out to these inland dams and try and chase some big barra. That'd be fun. Right, up. see you later. All right, I just want to show you one more little addition that I've done to make this a bit better. Um, I've got it on another trailer, so. I got an old Redco trailer off the uh, marketplace. It cost me 800 bucks. They still bloody hold their value, the buggers. But at least it's got some suspension on it, right? So now uh, the old fold up one that goes on the, the back of the van, it's good for travel, but it just shakes the hell out of your tinny when you're trying to tow it around any sort of rough stuff. So I've bought this one to chuck it on uh, so I can do some missions up some dirt tracks and go out to the dams and that. So there you go. I've also added this motor support mount. So, this one is um, an arc one. Grabbed it with all my other gear from Anaconda and you just 
chuck it in the little mount on the trailer and it goes up here into a rubber V which supports the laggier motor. That's it. Happy days.